Hi Cancer, I am the Awakened Dreamer and I'm here to give you a weekly tarot reading for the week of September 7th to the 13th. And I do want to of course take this moment to thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. And I'm more than appreciative of your likes, shares, and comments. So head on down below and do just that for me. And while you're down there, you will see all the information you need to book a personal reading with myself. So just shoot me an email and I'll get those started for you. And I meditated on your energy before beginning this reading. And the message that came through was, don't stop. Alrighty, don't stop, my friend, with whatever you are doing. Let's start off by pulling you a message or two from the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. What do we have for Cancer, please, for this upcoming week? You want those two. First we have disengage from outcomes. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. Ooh. It reminds you, Cancer, to forgive yourself and to forgive others as you continue down your destined path. In, in the title, Disengage from Outcomes, it reminds you to not to focus on the outcome of a situation and what you're working towards. To rather just enjoy every step of the way of you know what you're working towards in your journey and to forget about the final outcome and you know perfecting it just enjoy yourself throw yourself into it completely and you're sure to have a fabulous outcome and then we have help appears in various ways there is much support for you sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look to the support systems that are with you continually I feel like you get so wrapped up in what you are working towards or with the details of life or maybe the frustrations of life that you forget to look around you. You have so many beautiful support systems, so many soul connections in your life already that do truly care for you and would do anything for you and have your back, you know, when need be. So it's a week for you to uh, remember this and to recognize them, appreciate them. Maybe even ask them for help if, if you need it. Good start. Excuse any noise in the background, because like I said, um, I did mention I'm working outside, as you can see. Let's continue. I want to do some shuffling and pull seven tarot cards for the week. One card for each day, if you will. Let's do one more. All right, Spirit, what do we have to continue this weekly read for our lovely Cancers? You know, I actually love doing it outside. There are some distractions, but uh, it is a lovely day out, so why not enjoy the outside? Uh, so let's continue. What else do we have for Cancer? Okay, good energy. I have so much table space, why not spread the cards out properly? We're saying pull the last three for you. All right, starting off on Monday, Page of Wands. They're saying you thought your anxiousness was a thing of the past and 
it has been, but it, you're having a slip up on Monday. You're stressing over all the details on Monday of where you're heading, about what you're trying to achieve, about where things are going. And remember what we were talking about with this disengage from outcomes? Do not worry about the final outcome, the final product. Just worry about what you are doing in the present moment and just uh, wrap yourself up in it in the most beautiful way. Pour your soul into whatever you're working on and it'll be just fine. You do not need to worry about where um, things are heading because everything's destined at the end of the day. The path you're heading down is for you and only you. A very similar message came through in Libra's reading about how uh, the path that you're, they're going down is meant for them and only them. There might be a Libra in your chart or in your situation. And then we have Queen of Cups for Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be the day for you to truly trust your intuition and your gut feeling. Don't allow yourself to uh, uh, drift far from it. Uh, excuse me, I'm picking up on a little bit of the anxiety that you were getting on Monday. Stay balanced and peaceful on Tuesday. I feel like after you do go through this kind of very energetic but anxious kind of day on Monday, it's going to be essential for you to move into Tuesday and center yourself. Do what you got to do to meditate, uh, rediscover or bring back that inner peace that you need and deserve at this time. And then on Wednesday, we have the King of Swords. I feel like once you do decide to let go of all those worries and stresses and uh, anxieties and balance yourself out again, you rediscover that inner strength, that power. You know, you remember how great you actually are as a Cancer, no matter what anybody says. And this also talks about utilizing, if you look here, this owl down here, representing your wisdom and knowledge that you've developed from all you've been through in life. And people seem to forget that we go through what we go through for a reason. And it's not to make life miserable, but it's to teach us important life lessons and to help us grow and become the more amazing, powerful version of ourselves. So just remember that you were meant to be this knowledgeable, wise, powerful cancer you're becoming as the days move on in this week. And then we have Nine of Cups for Thursday. Things are going to start to fall in place, Cancer. You need to start to remember this, especially as the week goes on. Because look at this card. It's all about happiness. It's all about uh, success and rewards coming from your hard work. They're saying you're going to be jumping for joy. Something on Thursday is going to make you so happy. Something successful in relation to your job or your career in general. Don't question the success. It's meant for you and you deserve it. And remember this, this Nine of Cups joyful, excited feeling when you do move forward and certain days, you know, feel like a funk. Just remember how good this felt. And then we have the chariot card for Friday. You're gonna feel so alive on Friday, like you are ready to charge after everything you want and desire in life. Don't let anybody or any place or situation make you feel like this is wrong or not right because you know what you're doing, what's right for you. For once, I feel, or for the first time in a long time. And by doing this, you are manifesting what you really want out of life because you are, as, as long as you're believing that you can have everything that you deserve and desire 1000% in your mind and you're starting to, like the chariot card says, charge after it, then the spirit in the universe behind the scenes is going to help you work out some details so that everything just falls into place for you as it should. And the chariot card with the black and white horse reminds us to balance out our yin and yang, to uh, 
like I was saying with the Queen of Cups earlier on in the week. It's an important week for you to balance yourself out, okay? And then we have the Ten of Swords for Saturday. It's a day when you truly realize that once you let go of all those stresses you cause yourself and that doubt and uh, maybe being a little over emotional at times and those anxieties, it you realize that everything can start to fall into place, but you're clouding your own judgment and you're clouding uh, the pathway from the universe to give you all these beautiful blessings if you if you hold on to all those negative habits and feelings. And I feel like on Saturday when the weekend uh, rolls in, you truly, truly start to get that. And it's a beautiful and powerful realization that you better not forget moving forward, my friend. To finish off the week on Sunday, we have the Ace of Wands. It's going to feel like on Sunday as if you finally have this chance for a fresh start, for a new beginning for yourself. And it's what you've wanted for a while, I feel. And I do feel like on Sunday, your creativity is going to be on fire. Your ideas are going to be flowing. And make sure when they, those beautiful ideas do pop up on Sunday, write them down. You may not have time to initiate or put all of them into action, but write them down so that you don't forget. And another thing is trust your intuition. We were talking about that with the Queen of Cups as well. So big overall messages of uh, trust your intuition and uh, balance yourself out this week. Let's finish off this beautiful reading by pulling you a card or two, a message or two from the Find Your Happy deck. What do we have for Cancer, please, to finish off this weekly read? They said, take them all. Take them all. Every next level of my life will demand a different version of me. Absolutely. As you change and evolve, Cancer, don't question it. Embrace it and roll with it. Go with the flow. It's who you're meant to be at this period in your life. And of course you're going to change moving forward. We all do. It's part of life. You're meant to change and grow. But just don't fight these changes because as you step into a new chapter of your life, that's what's meant to happen. And then we have, I am only trapped by my illusion. Yes, 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 yes. There's a lot to do with the anxiety in the beginning of the week. It's an illusion. You know, when you believe certain things are getting in your way or, you know, certain things aren't working in your favor, it's all in your mind because things are starting to fall into place for you, Cancer. And you need to start to fully believe that and embrace it so that you don't get in your own way mentally. And then we have my dreams are the signature to my potential. Absolutely. Reminding you that you deserve to go after your dreams. And by doing so, you are allowing yourself the space and potential or the space to reach that potential that you truly have deep down that you may have been uh, discarding previously. So it's time to reach for those dreams, reach for the stars and allow yourself to accomplish all you can in life. But remember, as this week goes on, again, balance yourself out and try to clear your mind and trust that intuition. And whatever you do, do not stop, my friend. You're on a roll and things are gonna start to fall into place for you, like I've been saying. So on that note, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your personal situation. And while you're down there, don't forget to send me an email about booking a personal reading. And I hope you have the most amazing week and I will see you next time. Bye, Cancer.